Hello guys. Another new remix from Gendemic I made. This little case here is the Diddy. And the original one was uh, made to house in Helltech V3. This is really small, really small. I, I did remix, it is even smaller in the original variant. You can check it, link below and in the listing on printables to check how it originally looked. And of course with the Helltech and the, the I think um, Gendemic was able to put a 1200 million battery in here. So with the Helltech that would last you probably 12 hours, something like that, and then it's shut eyes, yeah? So, this is now remixed with the new Helltech T114. It's exactly the same front cover like on the Maximus, because it's from Gendemic base model, and that is modular, means you can keep the front, the face cover, and put it on pretty much all of the, the other back sides from Gendemic. Uh, what I did here is I remixed it so because the original one has an internal antenna I wanted to add an SMA connector up here So you can pretty much connect any antenna you want and it can be a big one as well It doesn't matter because it is flush with the top so you can put a huge an antenna on it or, even, or a small It doesn't really matter um, Yeah, the the front is pretty much the same the the T140 uh, the T114 is inside and I also enlarged the battery compartment slightly to take a more not so special lipo battery before there was a really it, it almost looked like a junk a chewing gum chunk with 1200 milliamps I was not able to find that so it was much easier to get a normal square one so I, I adapted the case to fit that one I also added the belt clip because that's standard by now really much I really love it it's just too easy to put it on your belt on your back really anywhere it's it's super solid rock solid and it's really fine um, and that's pretty much it yeah there's an on off power switch that's also from the original design I kept that because I always like it when you can totally switch off a device not just a soft shutdown button uh, yeah that's that okay the T114. There's no GPS in here, so this because it's a it's 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 a micro node, it's a portable node, and the best thing of all in combination with the HT114 and the Nordic chip that it uses, with a 1,000 milliamp battery that's in here, it is now. I'm using this since Saturday. No, wait, yeah, Saturday I went to bike tour, and I did switch it off after that because it did some more testing and switched antennas. Yeah, the, but the last time I switched it off, it's two days and 15, 15 hours. And I'm still on 52% charge with a 1000 milliamp battery. That is that is crazy. Where, where, where the Haltech V3 only lasts like one day, not even a whole day, not, not even 12 hours probably. Not even talking about 24 hours. This can get you through a whole week. Look how tiny this is. This is amazing. And it's not a biggie really if it doesn't have GPS because you're gonna use your note with your phone anyways and you can share your position with the phone GPS. You just have to enable that like like uh, share your position to the mesh or something like that it is it's called in the in the note list where you can select the note on the very bottom on Android. I'm not sure about Andro uh, how it looks like on iPhone. But yeah, this, this is amazing. And uh, what I did add as well is a buzzer. There's the, the hole for buzzer. I cannot... Oh wait, of course, I can send it. Look, let me just send the can't message here. It's... It's nice and loud. And that's also one thing. The HT114 using the Nordic chip, the GPIOs, they don't put out uh, that much uh, power like the Heldek does. The Heldek can like put out up to 40 milliamps at 3.3 volts. You surely normally not exceed 20. 20 would be the sweet middle. I mean, if you if you have a few spikes, it's fine. But the Nordic one, if I'm correct, does only 15 milliamps. That's like nothing. The only thing that is working without any additional hardware is maybe an LED, a LED to light up. But if you wanna drive like on the on the, on the big one, on the on Maximus. If you want to drive a vibra motor or like a buzzer, you can put a buzzer in here. 
without anything directed connected to the GPIO, but it is so quiet, like a mosquito fart. It's you can almost not hear it. It's it is just too, too weak to drive it really. It is 3.3 volts, but 50 milliamps is just not enough. So with the new HT114 boards, you're gonna have to use a transistor or a MOSFET. So I used the transistor in here, and um, that works really well. It's just a little bit of soldering. It's it's nothing special if you can handle a solar a solar iron. It's totally doable, uh, depending on how big the MOSFET is. I have really small ones here, but that's also all possible if you play around with it a little bit. And yeah, th this is really amazing. I mean. That the antenna I'm using here is the Gizant, of course, and it's quite big. But you can use it with small antennas. This is so handy. I, you, you just you put it somewhere and you almost forget it, and it lasts a whole week. With the T114, the V3, other than for mobile use, uh, uh, stationary mo uh, uh, use, sorry, because you the the um, the the NRF, the Nordic chip, does not support Wi-Fi, only Bluetooth, so you're not able to connect it with your home network. So for portable nodes, you never really need it. Bluetooth is, is more than enough, and you can still like do something over a serial port if you want to. And for stationary mode, the Haltech V3 is still viable because I still use it for my house antenna, for my house system, so I can connect to the to the website of the unsent messages that's that's pretty handy and it is con uh, connected to power constantly that, that that's not a big issue but with the T114 from Haltech now the V3 in mobile use for me pretty much is dead it's it's truly nice if you want to get started it's very inexpensive they are not that much more expensive really if you, if I am. and you know when you get a V3 now and you you want to build something small like this and you put a 1000 milliamp battery in this you have to charge this every day and this little thing with the new t114 is running a whole week and i'm not just idle i'm sending messages i'm receiving messages it's 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 really amazing so the t114 pretty much made the v3 obsolete um still not completely of course like i said i'm still gonna use it for stationary modes when i have access to a power socket where i can directly connect it but even for solar nodes now the t114 would be perfect because he does feature its own connector for solar panels as well seriously this is amazing yeah anyways i i would uh try to make a video more about the the the, the little one the the, the diddy remix you can find all the files and info also linked below, so check this out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.